Okay, today's video we're going to take a look at when and you know I've had people ask me oh my god you know what's going on with when you know it's it's really given us a big pullback here well it's natural okay from the last setup that we had we met not only one target the 1272 the second target the 1618 the third target we fell just short of which is the 2618 extension of that prior swing okay so that's natural to get a correction but now that we're getting a correction, there's definitely something to look at as far as another possible entry. And where it comes from is basically these prior declines within the uptrend, you know, swings and swings within the swings projected from the new recent high. And I'm um, also overlapping this with other key price retracements and extensions. And this is giving me areas to look at uh, possible buy entries. Now, we did pull back into support yesterday and then went even lower today uh, but i have to tell you that as far as um, the swing trade trigger we have not seen a swing trade trigger so we're not supposed to be long in this overnight just yet but we're going to watch for that possibility the only thing that we've seen here so far uh, with the bounce that we've seen in today's session are some very short-term um, day trading triggers okay so for example a two minute chart when we hit the lower end of that support it held it then had the moving average crossover to the upside the 834 ema crossover and in the process it also took out a prior swing high so you know there's also the shift in pattern from lower lows and lower highs to higher highs and higher lows you know shifting the pattern so bottom line i am um, watching this one and stalking this one for buy signals either day trade triggers or swing trade triggers just know that so far only the day trade triggers have fired off unless you're using something else and also know that if this low ends up holding up that our potential upside target is going to be 173.92 okay when am i wrong well if it breaks the support that I placed the bet against, which is this zone here, this 159.34 to 160.54 area. I have the choice of either having my stop underneath the low end of that zone or having the stop underneath the low that was made you know, prior to a buy trigger, which is uh, 160.56.